Hello there, welcome to Tekken Cash. So today we're gonna do another post game review. So I, I think I played this game quite a while ago, but I remember it was quite, it ended up being quite interesting. So I, I, I wanna share that with you all. So a pretty good starting hand here. We have the nut hatch for the forest, hummingbird, probably a good wetland options um, since there's no other wetland birds. And of course, we have the Bonalis Eagle here. I think in the past few videos that I did with Flan, we, we, we have talked about um, the discussion around keeping Bonalis Eagle from your starting hand. Um, it's always a tricky one because obviously Bonalis Eagle is a big point bomb, but if you keep it, you have to keep one less food. Um, but I, I think at the end, we, we kind of concluded that that's, that's, that's very little situation where you don't keep the Bonalis Eagle because it, it's just such a good point bomb. Like I say, you can tuck three cards and score like 11 points, which is quite silly if you think about that. Um, and then, yeah, the, the, the skill, the skill quill is quite nice here. Um, it only costs one food and you can get extra eggs when you lay eggs in early game. And it, it works quite well for the third end of round goes here as well for eggs in ground nest. So, yeah, kind of a greedy start here, keeping four birds. Um, and so I have to pick up a grain to play that nut hatch. Um, the setup is a little bit slow, but um, I'm hoping that it will pay off in the long run here. Um, and then my opponent has the chirping sparrow there. That's going to help them with um, the setup as well in terms of accelerating the tempo. Um, the Eurasian Nut Hatch is one of the birds from the European expansion that I was pleasantly surprised by how good they are. So it's the power of the Nut Hatch allows you to cash one grain guarantee from the supply. And the unique thing about the grain that you cash is that you can use it later. Um, otherwise, it would still count as a points at the end of the game. I, I think before I, I play the Euro, European expansion on digital wingspan, um, I was a little bit skeptical about the nut hatch because I, I thought the the woodpecker from the base game base game that allows you to pick up a grain is way better because it only costs one food. Um, but um, the thing about the woodpecker is that if there's no seed in the bird feeder, then you're kind of screwed. So. The, the guaranteed grain with the Eurasian nut hatch turns out to be quite nice. So I play the hummingbird here as my wetland options. Um, and really you see in a moment here, having that squirrel quill, scale quill, is going to be really nice when I lay eggs because I get three eggs so that even if I spend one egg to exchange for extra cards, I will still have two eggs in the wetland to help me compete for the end of round goals here. So um, those extra eggs are really, really useful most of the time in the early game. And then my opponent played the Phoebe here, so I'm expecting some free grub. And there you go, I got the free grub. So going for my first draw here. And got the Cooper's Hawk, which is quite nice as the second bird for my fours. And also got the California Quill here. Um, so at this point, I, I think the idea is definitely start forming in my head that, you know, I can potentially go for a forest engine here because I already have the nut hatch that cash grain and then I have the Cooper Hawks for hunting. And I can potentially also um, play the California Quill for eggs or one point. So potentially that can be a two to three points force engine. Um, it's it's kind of interesting that you know that's that's no debate that in the base game um, the the grassland engine definitely is the more preferred engine. It's just easier to set up. There's a lot more birds that work for setting up a grassland engine. Um, wetland engine can be viable when you get the right birds. Um, I think with the new European expansion, um, there's a lot more birds um, that works for setting up a wetland engine. So that that was quite interesting. 
but I would say um, even with the new European expansion bird, the forest engine is still the least go-to um, habitat in most cases. Um, just because it's, I think that's just in general way less bird um, compared to the two the other two engine for you to set up an engine in the forest. And then obviously here we have the wood duck that pops up. Um, regardless what I'm going to do, I have to pick that up. And I think it can work out really well here. Like I say, um, I already have the Cooper Hawks and the Quill that can generate me points and eggs. And then now the only missing piece is getting cards. And Wood Duck is the only bird that you can play in the um, forest that generate cards. Uh, so I, I think that's the biggest um, obstacle for setting up um, forest engine. Um, a lot of time as well is the card generation um, in in the grassland and the wetland. Obviously, that's a lot of. I mean, at least in the grassland, that's quite a few um, birds that allows you to generate cards. But that's only really wood ducks um, that allows you to pick up cards um, using the forest. And of course, the the grassland engine is superior because you are generating eggs by default. So you already have some baseline um, baseline points that you can generate using um, the, the grassland. But with the forest, um, most birds, you can only generate one points um, in the forest. Or for example, the Pileated Woodpecker, you can lay two eggs, but you still have to give one eggs to your opponent. Um, so really, even with three birds down that generate points, your forest engine is only a three points engine, um, which is you know very far behind what you can what you can build using a grassland engine, combining eggs and other points generating bird. Um, so I think that's one of the major reasons why um, forest engine is not as viable most of the time. Um, but I think there are quite a few birds that came out from the uh, European expansion that really helped to solve the problem. Um, there's a lot of, not a lot, but quite a few new birds that has the teal power, which allows you to cash extra food or discard food to um, discard food to tuck cards. So those birds can um, effectively turn your food into points so that makes the forest engine more viable and then um so i, I drew the eurasian nut hatch which is again a very interesting bird um, in this situation because um just by itself the eurasian nut hatch is one c for five points it's already a pretty good value um and then on top of that for the brown powers it allows you to cash up to five grain on each bird in your forest. I guess, let me put it, so you, you can see here, basically it means that um, you can catch one grain on each of your bird in your forest. So um, again, I, I'm definitely looking at that like, wow, this, this can be quite nice. Um, if I'm lucky with the bird feeder, now suddenly um, I can generate more than four or five points combining the cash from the nut cracker and then the cash from the nut hatch and also um, the hunting of the Cooper's hawks so um, that can be quite nice um, I still play the quill here um, so that I can have a steady sources of eggs so in case I need to play other birds I, I can do that and then um, I can also start generating eggs so that I can compete for um, the third end of round goes there so um, at this point, I'll say I'm pretty committed to the forest engine there. Especially the Eurasian that hatch. Um, so trying to pick up as many grain as I can. Um, and of course, um, the, the deck gave me the raven. Um, which is quite interesting. You know, always always good to keep the Raven for late game pivot if necessary. But um, the the Cuckoo is a pretty nice pickup too. Um, the Cuckoo is the new ping egg laying power from the Eurasian um, 
European expansion, which allows you to gain egg when your opponent lay eggs, and it, you can put the eggs in either bow or ground nest. Um, definitely picking up the big point spirit here with my force engine. So it's nice that I'm slowly building up quite a bit of uh, uh, reserve for grain here. So that's gonna really help me with my caching using the Eurasian Nut Hatch. Um, so I think my opponent is playing quite a few birds as well. Um, that scored them quite a bit of points. Um, so I'm really gambling on this forest engine here. So again, if you look at the, the force engine here, the quo is a guarantee point, the nut hatch is a guarantee point, um, the the hunting, you know, not guarantee, and the nut hatch is totally up to how many points, how many grains I can find um, from from the bird feeder. Yep. Yeah. Um, I also realized that I don't really need to cash grain from the nut hatch because um, the 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 grain that was already cashed on the nut hatch is guaranteed points, and it, it's good to keep it on the nut hatch because in case if you need to spend it, you have the option. Um, So, yep, happy to see as many grain as I can. Um, definitely not as many as I hope for. Um, again, I keep spending the <laughs> the grain from the nut hatch, but I don't think that that was really necessary. Um, yeah, and then at the same time, you know, I'm looking at my hand. I I have the banalis ego, and then I also have the wood stork. Um, that can be that hopefully can score me quite a few points over there. Uh, so I also did not play the Cuckoo because my opponent has been using the uh, Peleated Woodpecker to get eggs. So I don't imagine them laying eggs anytime soon. So, alright, two grain, I'll take it. Um, trying to discard cards to see if I can get more grain. Alright, that was nice. Three. So let's see, so that was three grains, so that was three point quotes, one point, so that's four. And then Cooper Hawks succeeded, so that was five points. And then Nut Hatch caching, that, that's six points. So um so yeah, that, that was a six point forest engine, which is quite rare. And when you can get six points um, from your forest now you are, you know you, you you can compete almost on par with most grassland engine um, I think typically grassland you can run between four to, four to six points or five to six points so a a six point engine in the forest is quite nice and 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 one of the pros of this six point engine in the forest is that you don't really have to worry about um, overflowing of eggs, which is a problem with grassland engines sometimes. If you don't really have good number of egg spots, you can really fill up and it really greatly reduce um, the potential of your engine. But because I'm generating most of my forest points from caching, so I don't have that worries, except for the California Quill, of course. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of calculation here um, to make sure I win the third end of round goals by laying eggs, which I think was worth it because I when I lay eggs, I get four eggs, so that's four points. And winning the end of round goal is another three points, so that net me at least like seven points. Um, so that, that's still um, quite nice. All right. Uh, so 
my opponent is going first here. So try to try to play the woodstruck here to see um, if they if there's any bonus card I need to work on. Um, so we have the bird bender, which is one of the nicest one of the nicer bonus card from the European expansion. Quite easy to score in most game. Um, the colleges is you know quite nice as well. Usually um, going for the bird bender here because. Um, if I play the Banalis Eagle, that's guarantee another four points from the bonus card. Um, with the Ecologies, there is potential to score more, but that also means I have to play more birds. So it will be up to if I get nice bird with my Wood Duck or not. Um, and then looking at my hand now, the Banali Eagles consume at least three cards. So um, I don't really have that many um, additional cards lying around. Um, and if I can turn any cards that I'm not playing into grains, um, that can help me to score more points as well. So, so that's definitely interesting here. With with the Eurasian Net Hatch, you can turn your cards into grain and which turn into points. So, um, didn't didn't really think about it before, but. That was quite interesting. I think that was a bug here, so I have to lock out. Saf, the, the Chaffinch is another bird from the European expansion that, um, most of the time, it's not a great bird because um, so for the brown power, you get to tuck one card, um, one card on each of the bird in the habitat, but it has to be in the forest or the um, grassland. So um, it, it's definitely not as good as the. Um, shift shaft which has the same power but allows you to cash in the wetland so where you're already steadily generating cards um it was quite an unfortunate roll over there um i think i only ended up getting like one grain um and then i got a bug again so yeah that was that was quite an unfortunate row um but now that i think about it if if you have the wood duck and then you have you have the Shaffinch, so potentially you can draw two cards using your Wood Duck and then Tug using your Shaffinch. Um, if you tug all your cards, then you don't have cards to discard at the end of your turn, which I think is allowed. Um, I think that's quite interesting. But again, like it, it it's a two points engine with two birds, so it's it's nothing groundbreaking, but. Still quite interesting to think about. Um, I was wondering if not picking up the 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 ash throated flycatcher is a mistake here because um, with the flycatcher I can gain seven seven points, so four points from the bird, three eggs from three cavity nests, minus one eggs, maybe six points. Um, I think six point guarantee is still better. Um, maybe six point guarantee is definitely better than um, my forest engine here, which is not guaranteed six points. Um, so only two turns left. Um, trying to figure out what's the best case here. Um, did not roll any grain in that re row. Um, that was quite unfortunate. I, I think for two reroll, um, for two reroll, I, I did not get any grain, or maybe I only got one grain or something. Um, so that was, that was, that was quite unfortunate. I guess that's the risk, um, with the Eurasian that hatch. It's like, you can potentially cash up to five grain, but, uh, it, it really depends on if you can find those grain. So I'm settling with just playing the the Banalis Eagle here at the end. 
Yeah. So in that case, like I like I say, I, I think the 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 fly catcher guarantee six point would have been a nice pickup, but um I totally missed that. Um and Yeah, I think I ended up having a bugs here why where I just cannot spend any eggs to to play my Banali's ego, so I ended up having to um restart quite a few times. So I ended up um I had I had to restart the the program to to make it work so i finally get to play my banali seagull here so that was my last turn look at my opponent boards here definitely a lot of big points bird and they have a pretty good grassland engine as well with the swallow and the um predators so um i knew at that point it it could be a pretty close game and seems like they have lead with the end of round goals and eggs as well so i'm counting on my cash and at the end I, I lost by one point yeah just looking at the food in my hand that, that's so many food that I pick up that that wasn't seed so if those were seed I I, I I could have scored a lot higher and potentially win the game and I think not picking up that fly catcher cost me the game as well probably um, but anyway yeah that that was the game I want to share with you I thought it was quite interesting with the caching forest engine here i hope you like it and feel inspired and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time